Number 15 says, which of the following numbers when rounded off to the nearest thousand is 60,000? Okay, so our key concept here is the rounding of numbers. So we need to understand that if we have five or more, we are going to round up. If it's four or less, we are going to round down. Okay, so let's find the digit that we should be rounding. We should be rounding to the nearest what? Thousand. So here is our thousand. Let's look to the number that's to the right of that. Okay, the number to the right of that is nine. If it's five or more, I'm going to do what? Add one and put zero for the rest. So this ends up being six, one, and zero for the rest. So this would be 61,000. Okay. Let's look at this one. Um, again, I am rounding to my thousand column, which is here. Let's look at the number that's to the right of that, which is five. If it's five or more, I'm going to do what? Add one to the column I'm rounding and put zero for the rest. So I end up again with 61,000. Let's look at B. I have nine in my thousands column and five in my column of my column next to it. So I'm going to add one making this 10. If this is 10, I'll put 0 there and add 1 to the 5. So this gives me 60 and I'll put 0 for the rest. Okay, so again, let me go with this. 5, I'm going to add 1 to the 9, making it 10. Put the 0, add 1 to the 5, making it 6. Of course, these would have zeros behind already, so that's 60,000. So, let's look at our last option. Again, looking at my thousands column, I have four here, so I would do what? I would put zero in its place and zero for the rest. So this would be 59, put zero there, and zero for the rest. So my answer would be, B, 59,549 when rounded to the nearest thousand is equal to 60,000. So we have to bear in mind our key concept of rounding. We need to know that we have our rounding up group and we have our rounding down group. Five and above, we round up and four and less, we round down.